In my previous tutorial, I have shown you how to install Zango on Ubuntu 20. And in this tutorial, I will show you how you can create Zango views. To do this, you have to install the Zango first and then create a Zango project. And uh, you can start step, set up a Zango app. I have already done these steps. So I will go to my project folder, CD. Okay, now I will run this command to create a new app for my Zango project. It will create uh, a app name view app. Okay, our app is uh, created. Before running the step two, you have to run the migrate command uh, for your app folder. And uh, to do this, I will write Python 3 manage manage.py migrates. Okay, our uh, all necessary migration files are created. Now you can run this command to create user for the Zango database. I am keeping it blank now. And I give a password here. Type the same password. Okay. Yes. Our uh, username and password is created. Now, uh, open the setting. Uh, you can use any editor here. This is our app folder. And... Uh, and this is the setting dot UI file. And here you have to add your app name in the install app section. Now go for the next step, uh, go to the template section. Uh, I am not using any templates here, so I will not do this step now. And uh, open the view file of your view app from your view app folder. This is the view file, and the code for the view file is here. I will explain the code now. Here, uh, date time, um, from the date time, date module is imported and the HTTP response is uh, imported uh, to send the response value as uh, here. Date today will read the current date and, and here in heading is set in as a content and it will uh, read the today's date in a particular format and send to the browser by using HTTP response method. Okay, now add this code into your URL file, which is under uh, Zango project folder. So go there and uh, open the URLs.ur file. And uh, here replace the code with this code. Yeah, a new part is added here, welcome or welcome part, it will call the index function of views and uh, view is imported here and it will call the index and uh, after calling it will read the current date and time and uh, send the formatted date to the browser. Okay, now I will uh, run the server. From here, okay. 
Okay, our server is running. Now I can test the code from here. Local host, welcome. You see, the output is appear. This is the heading and this is the uh, to this date. Okay. Uh, in this part of this tutorial, I have shown you how we can create a function based view. And the next part of this tutorial, I will show you how you can use simple class based view. And for this, uh, I will create another view file inside the view app folder. A new file views to okay now. Add this code in the in this file. Here, uh, a module random module is imported, and uh, a sleep response module is also imported to send the data to the browser. And the class my view is created here that contain a function get and uh, get function will create a list of uh, 10 random numbers and uh, this for loop will and create a random number you can want 50 and add uh, the random number into the list in inside version of the for loop and after uh, creating the list the list variable will be passed to the browser okay now i will add the path for view 2 and uh, this code is given here so you can update the previous url dot urls dot py file with this code so here you can see a new path is Define that is a number and it will call the uh, class my view and uh, my view class contain the method get that will be called automatically when mm, this view my view class is called you know, from the urls dot file so now I will it from the browser and uh, path for this the class view is number so I have to type here number and if the 10 random number are displaying here if I refresh it then every time the value will be changed because because in, uh, when I refresh the page, uh, the script will uh, again execute and generate 10 new random numbers. In this way, uh, we can use class view or uh, function based view on, on your Zango app. Thank you for watching.